Hello and welcome back to Stylish Niger channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to cut a peplum top with a yoke. As, as you can see the material I'm going to be using for the yoke is uh, it, it's like a net but it's stretchy. But before I start I want to say a very big thank you to all of my faithful subscribers. You guys really rock. I want to say thank you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you have any questions that you want to ask me, you can send me a DM on Instagram at Stylish Niger, on Facebook at Stylish Niger, on the group, on the sewing group, it's Stylish Niger Styles Sewing Group. You can send me a message, ask, ask any question you want, and I'll be really glad to reply to your message. Thank you so much. For you fold your fabrics into two and for this um, um, tutorial the bust measurement I'm gonna be using is 38 for you to know how to to fold your fabric as in the measurement that's the width of the fold you divide 38 into 4 after dividing 38 into 4 you add 5 inches to it so 38 divided by 4 that's 19 you divide it into 4 that's half I have nine and a half then you add five inches to it so i'm going to approximate it to ten after adding five inches so i'll have 15. so i'll fold my fabric at 15 inches so my fold is done the first part is um since it's a is a yoke top since it hurts like what i'm wearing now this is actually a yoke kaftan this is a yoke so you can see the the normal dress started from here so this is the part this is something like this that's what i'm gonna be doing that's me. i'm gonna be adding this to the top so for you to know what to do you i'm gonna be using measurement i'm gonna be using eight inches for my yoke so the, an eight inches yoke is a yoke that really dropped as you can see what i'm wearing now is eight inches yoke so in order for you to start you you place your tape at eight as you can see it's on eight that's this you are subtracting this up part from from your basic bodies you're subtracting it so that's eight inches so i'll put half inches because of the seam allowance so it's going to be eight and half then the breast point for this um tutorial her breast point is actually 11 this is 11 the breast point 11 15 when i say 11 15 11 this 11 is the nipple why the 15 is on that bust so that is what we mean when we say breast point 11 15 11 the 11 is the nipple why the 15 is under the bust so now the next thing i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be adding two inches allowance to it so i have one two here so that's 17 that's just the same allowance so in case after joining cutting or the off cut so i won't it won't be short so the next thing i'm gonna be doing now is my dart the middle part the dart i'm gonna be using eight inches initially when i was measuring her i had to measure her nipple and her nipple was uh actually eight inches i think that's from nipple to nipple was eight so for this i'm gonna be using four and a half which is nine inches so you place that nine inches why nine by the time i sew it will not be eight so you place your your tape here and you measure four and a half here from this top four and a half inches and then four and a half inches then i'll use my ruler to connect connect my lines the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be measuring this part now is actually gonna be my dad so I'm gonna be taking one inches from this down part that's the under boss I'll take one inches from here I'll measure one inches then on this other side the left side another one inches then 
for this up part i'll use one inches for this up part that's the the this part that's where the yoke is going to be starting from one inches then for the left part is half inches why i'm doing this is, is like that when you are sewing your normal that you normally hold your dart and sew so this part now we're going to be cutting it off then so you sew then you have that fit on it so the next thing now i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be connecting my lines from here down to this nipple this is the nipple line remember i told you this is the underboss this is allowance so I'm, I'm just i'm drawing my lines from the allowance so i'm going to be going like this to this nipple part then i'll now bring it to this point so i don't want sharp lines so what i'm going to be doing is i'll just make a little curve as you can see this is the nipple so you try and make a curve it shouldn't be too big depends on how big it shouldn't be too big you see i'm when i get to this place i'm not make my curve down here then for this one i'm just going to be taking it straight like this When you get to this nipple part, you bring it to this side. This breast point I'm actually cutting. There's, there's, you can actually make it straight if you want to. You doesn't, you can make it straight. You can decide not to make this curve, but here I choose to make this curve. You can still make it straight like this. But for this tutorial, I decide to make it. I've chosen to make it to make a curve on it, and not the the usual straight one. So now, what I'm going to be doing now, as you can see, this needle part, now I'm going to be cutting it off. So that will be the dart. That will be the, those dart lines that you join. So first of all, I'll cut out this part first. This is it. Then this other part now. As you can see my curve now so the next thing now I'll place it for me to get my full body measurement i'll take the middle part that i did i'll place it like this here then i'll measure my i'll now make my measurement my full body measurement out of it 38 that's 19 divided by 2 what i have here is nine and a half i'll take it like this and place it up here this is nine and a half that's for my bust measurement that's this part now that is what i'm measuring now this part so i have nine and a half i'll use three inches as my allowance because i don't want to run into any problems at the end of the day three inches like this then this is like i told you this is the nipple point so i'll leave this part i'll come to the to the under bust her under bust is um actually 32 that is 32 you divide it into four that's 16 divided by two that's eight inches so you place it here you have eight inches here then i'll use another three inches as my allowance here so what i'm going to be doing now is, is i'm going to be bringing it down here like this You can see the curve is not like a straight straight line so now cut out always cut outside your lines so now i'll use this as you can see this is the front part of the breast cut like i told you i could have decided to make this side just straight but i chose to make to make a curve on it because i want it to really have to really i want the boss to really be full so that's why i decided to make this curve on it so now i will with this i'll cut out the back part i'll place it on it 
here like this i'll fold my remaining fabrics place it on it place this one here and i'll use two i'll leave two inches here as my allowance i'll leave two inches here as my allowance for that for the zip allowance then i'll just cut out and then that's the back straight that make a notch here for the zip allowance then for me to have my that what i normally do is you just take this part you remember at the end of the day i'm going to be opening this part you for the for the dance part what i normally do as you can see this part where the cut of the the front part is just make a line like this from this down part like this a slanted line and then trace it down like this to this up part like this so the next thing you do is you connect your lines some people they normally most times what they normally do they'll just hold this part as the back that but me I, I i chose to open it up so i'll just take my lines like this and connect it together i open this part that's the zip part and then i open this part that is like my the back that i want a straight line i don't want those ones that you just hold and just that no so so now i'm going to be going to my machine now i want to iron it to pad it up then and when i come back i'll sew it couple different then i'll come back and show you how to add the yoke to it okay so this is the i finished coupling it so the, this is the front and this is the back so the next thing i'm gonna be doing now is i'm gonna be cutting the yoke with this fabric to cut the yoke you fold your the the, the front part of your fabric you fold it into two like this instead of opening it instead of opening it like this so you just fold it into two like this then you take the the net remember initially i used i used eight eight inches to drop the that was the length of the yoke that i'm gonna be using so you fold your your net either your net or lace whatever fabric you want to use as your yoke you fold it you place your your already the, the front part of the the dress you place it on top and then you measure this is a very easy way of cutting a yoke so this is this what i have here is eight inches i'm gonna be leaving allowance at the top of it so when i'm done i can still i can trim it out and make sure it's eight inches so i'm leaving one inches here in front then i'll leave another one inches at the down that will be the the sewing allowance and if you notice this is a straight this is a straight uh, the, the front part is straight i'm not making any arc in front of it so i'm just going to cut it out straight measure always make sure you measure to be very sure so this is my line so 
So I'll take it out like this. So at the end of the day, I have this as my yoke. So when I'm, you place it like this, like I told you, I said this is the straight yoke. So it doesn't have any curve here on the chest part. So I'll take, when, when I want to couple it, this is my lining. This is my lining. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'll take this yoke like this, this down part. I'll place it here, as you can see. You place it like this, here at the back. Then you get your lining and make sure it's accurate, the, the, the bust part. You place it like this. So now I'll take it to my machine now and just run a stitch along this line. Okay, as you can see, I finish, I finish sewing it. So you bring it out like this. You see? It's up like this. So now this is your yoke. This is how to fix your yoke. So the next thing now is you, you turn it like this for you to get your neck measurement. As in the, the neck measurement depends on the type of neck that you want to do. All you have to do is just place it like this. You fold it. Make sure the, the breast point is accurate. And then you measure the length. Like I told you initially, I had to make this one excess. So at the end of the day, you can now trim it to your desired result. You trim it to the way you want it to be. So you can now trim out. You measure your neck, your neck measurement. You trim out and then you are good to go. So that's it. So for the neck, I want a high neck. I want a really high small neck so I'll make use of two and a half for my neck and then the, the, the length of the neck is going to be two like I said I want a really high neck so depends on what you want if you want a, a deep neck you can do it That's for the neck. Then for the shoulder, like I told you initially, the shoulder is 15 inches. So you measure your shoulder. You measure, you place your tape and measure that seven and a half. You make it like this. You add one and a half inches as your allowance. Then for your armhole, for, for your armhole, you put, place your tape like this. I'm going to be using seven because I don't want it. Since the fabric is stretching, seven inches. I don't want the armhole to exceed to get to the to the fabric. I just want it. I want it on my net alone. So you cut like this. At the end of the day, this is what you have. As you can see now, you see the neck. I told you that I wanted the small neck. You see the neck, you see your armhole, and then you see the bustier part of the of the dress. So this is how you cut and attach your yoke to the, a to a, a dress. So the next thing, so now the next thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be cutting the peplum. And for me to get the the length of my peplum, what I'm going to be doing is I'll I'll minus. This 17 inches, what I have here is 17 inches. I'll minus it from 25 inches. 25 inches is actually the full length of the blouse. And when you minus 17 from from 50, uh, sorry, when you minus 17 from 25, what you have is 8 inches. So my purple, I'm gonna be cutting it at 10 inches. One inch is for the down part as allowance, then the other one inch is for the up part. That's the fixing part. So I'm making a peplum. Of the length is going to be it's going to be 10 inches while the circumference is going to be 
35 inches so I've come to the end of my illustration for this part, for the back if you want to add yoke to the back you can still do the same the, follow the same process the way I did the front you do it the same way to the back was this illustration helpful to you? did you like what I did in the video? if you do please like this video, comment, tell me ask me any questions you want and I'll be so glad to reply to your comments thank you so much for watching and bye